The jail death case of a diabetic Valley mother is finally over. County supervisors agreeing today to pay out more than $3 million for the death of Deborah Braylord and to stop the trial from reaching the jury. ABC 15 investigator Dave Biscoving, the only reporter in the Valley to cover this trial. And Dave, why did it take so long for the county to finally reach this decision? Well, Steve, it's because the Board of Supervisors flip-flopped on a decision to settle this case several times. And we know that some members changed their votes at least twice. But throughout the trial, attorneys for the county and even the judge were telling the supervisors that they should settle. Now, today's vote should finally put the whole thing to rest. And even though the $3.25 million settlement sounds like a lot, taxpayers may have gotten a good deal. At trial, we heard dramatic testimony about how Deborah Braylord suffered in Estrella Jail as jail staff denied her insulin and medical care for three days before she slipped into a coma and died. Supervo Supervisor Mary Rose Wilcox admitted that winning this case was a long shot and that it was only right to pay up. You're dealing with taxpayers' money. You try to be prudent. Um, what if we had gotten a jury that came in at three or four times the amount of 3.2? We reached out to Arpaio, who said he wanted the case to go all the way to the jury. But his attorney told us it was smart to settle now. And coming up at 6, we'll have even more reaction from today's vote. It, Dave, it was smart to settle now. Why go to trial to begin with? I mean, they've already paid out millions of dollars in attorney's fees here, haven't they? Yeah, they have. It's at least $2 million. And when they went back to trial, that only jumped that figure up even more. And we're still working to get that final total. Yeah, it's costing taxpayers a lot more than maybe it should. Thanks, Dave.